What's going on everybody and welcome back to the St. Thomas Dynasty here on NCAA 14. This is John J. Gaming on the mic and today we go with the Season 8 regular season finale. Take it on the Tulane Green Wave, man. It's a pretty big game. Tulane on the surface doesn't seem like that important of opponent because they're only 6 and 5. But I gotta show you these conference stands to see show you why this game is so important. So here's what our conference stands are currently looking like right now. St. Thomas does have the lead at 7-1, but Tulane is right behind us at 6-2, and, and they haven't played us yet. If they beat us, they will have the tiebreaker over us and go to the conference championship game. We'll even host. However, we do have these guys here at home, so we just got to do what we've been doing for most of this entire season. Just take care of business, and we'll go to the American Conference championship game now if you do enjoy the content on this channel though what i encourage you to do is smash that like button as well as hit subscribe if you had to be new let's go ahead and see if we can quench a berth to the american conference championship game let's get it boys let's go man one game to decide the american west division here at st thomas let's get it man first throw gonna go to isaiah thomas six yard gain on the play you can see his stat line he has been killing it man 820 yards seven tds go definitely need some of him today if we're gonna win this ball game man because you know twain's only six and five but they have been really good in conference play though which is why they're in this position in the first place we've been killing it regardless of who we gone on the field again so far as brooks drops back gonna be a tight throw tyreek miller with the difficult catch in traffic not a problem for Miller as let's see if we can get this run game going for a change gonna hit it off to Lucas Coley who somehow finds a hole it was pretty tight for a second not gonna lie but he's able to bust it wide open gain of 11 despite the tough defense in the beginning as we're continuing to move it downfield steadily you know not the most exciting offense in the world I will admit that but you know it's been working for us this year and hopefully we can make that continue as here we go second and three brooks gonna go up the middle he's gonna get the first down gain of five yards off of the read option as now a couple plays later gonna throw it short to alice garcia he's taking some hits but he is bouncing them off for the most part so we're very close to that first down marker man i'm not trying to settle for a field goal i can tell you that much but not liking what i see necessarily gonna switch things up See if an off tackle uh, look works a lot better for us. So you know we need a couple of yards. Can we get it? And we do thanks to some broken tackles. Luki Coley was determined to get that first down and he made it happen. So the drive will still continue. Brooks is looking. He's going to throw to Alex Garcia, but it's dropped. Man, these drops passes are going to be the death of me, man. As we'll go to second and ten now. We're looking. We had a touchdown with IT, but it was thrown short. So IT had to come back and make the grab. So here we are, man. Third and short. Can we pick up this first down? Is Brooks dropping back? Gonna throw over the middle. Finds Lucas Coley into the end zone. Touchdown, Tommies. And that throw ties the school record. For most touchdown passes in a single season, 27. It also ties Kyle Luck from a couple of years back, man. So, real excited for him, but we still got a lot of game left as we force a free and out on Tulane's first possession. So, we're back out here on the field again, first and 10 coming up. And they bite hard on the fake. Coley gets caught from behind, but if it wasn't for that, this man was going to be gone. Gone like a girl in a country song, as my boy Jack Legion would always say. So it's second and four now. We're going to go up the middle. He gets loose once again, slicing and dicing, hitting that shake and bake for a gain of 17. As St. Thomas is back in the red zone once again. Going to throw to IT. He's within five yards of the end zone. Looking to make this a quick two-score lead. As we go ahead and throw, try to see if we can get that scoring record, and he does! Touchdown, Tommies! And Noah Brooks breaks the school record for most touchdown passes in a single season. Congratulations to that young man right there. In this American West Championship game, 
We are so happy for him. As now Tulane is going to look to respond. They finally get a first down today. It almost took a quarter. But they finally got their offense off the bus. And now they're ready to play. First down for the Tulane Green Wave. As they'll hand it off to Holt. He's going to move up field. And he's going to take a shot. For a gain of 11 yards on the play. So first and 10 now. Once again. Holt going to fake it. He's going to try to go up the field. But he's met by Antoine Black and Kevin Carter. Carter finished the things off because Antoine Black was taken for a little bit of a ride. Still got the job done regardless. As they almost get another. Oh, they do get that first down as Matt Wade could not force Matt Romero's momentum to stop. But it's already out of the first quarter, man. We're playing pretty darn well. Owning a 14-0 lead after one quarter of play. So let's see, first play of the second quarter, it's going to be a read option that's going to go to Wells, who's going to bounce to the outside, he's going to shake off a tackler before Jim Smith finally forces him out of bounds after a gain of 15 yards on the play. As now, first and 10, Tulane going to hand it off to Wells again, he's got some space, he finds the end zone, touchdown, Glean wave, and it cuts his lead in half uh, immediately. So it's time for us to respond, man. What are we going to do after Tulane gets on the board? We're going to start by throwing, you know, try to throw this ball. Going to throw it short to Coley, but he drops the pass. Took a tough hit, to be fair, but, you know, got to be a little better with the pass catching. As we got second and ten. Going to throw sh to the left-hand side. Find Alex Garcia, who does get out of bounds. And that right there is also going to be the school record for most passing yards in a single season. Noah Brooks, man, you have to, it is so hard to root against this kid, man. I'll tell you what, Noah Brooks was a kid that, you know, everyone was downing at the beginning of the season. You should be starting the freshman, but Brooks has came in there and has proven his worth for sure. As we got second and three, Brooks is looking. We had A open, but because he got hit, couldn't get everything on there. That was a touchdown waiting to happen, but instead, you know, we're going to have to default to this third and three, man. So here we go, third and three. Brooks in a shotgun, dropping back. He's looking around, gonna try to scramble. He gonna take a sack. I might have Jinx Noah Brooks taking that sack, and we had to point away. However, for us though, we do get another free and out on defense. So the St. Thomas offense is back onto the field as we'll throw short to IT. He nearly picks up the first down. It's a gain of nine yards on the play. You love to see it. So because we're second and short, going to not do anything cute. Just go ahead, pick up the first down with the legs. As Brooks is out in the open, and he gets brought down at around the 45-yard line. Nearly across midfield already. Offense has been doing a really good job today. As Coley is loose, but he gets caught from behind. But he's across the 20-yard line. St. Thomas now in the red zone, threatening to score once again. Time to finish this drive off, though. As it's a blitz, as we take a huge sack once again. Noah Brooks failing to throw that ball away in time. So we got a second and long now. Brooks dropping back. He's looking. He finds Adrian Allen. Touchdown, Tommies. Adrian Allen into the end zone for Noah Brooks' third touchdown pass of this ball game. What a beautiful dot. As we get another three and out against these guys so we can continue to pour it on against Tulane. Which is what I exactly want to do right now. As we throw a dart to Pablo Sanchez. Somehow able to get both feet down. That would have been a catch in the NFL. As we got second and seven. Brooks looking around. Going to try to throw it on the slant route. But Rodney Mills was there. He was like State Farm. but Because he, he was there for that deflection. Could have been picked off but it... Thankfully was not, as we'll now have third and long. Brooks in the shotgun. He's going to pass it. Going to find Tyreek Miller, who gets to the first down marker. And a little bit more. Keep this thing rolling. As we're approaching one minute left here in this first half. Can we finish this drive as we try to run it with Lucas Coley? He does get stopped before the first down marker. So it does um, get, make us call a timeout. As we'll try to throw deep, but it's intercepted. We had Tyreek Miller open, had to throw it more closer to the seam, 
trying to throw it to the middle of the field was a death sentence and Jerome Atkinson took advantage of it but that's how we'll go into the locker room we're up 21 to 7 but a missed opportunity in the first half second half coming shortly all right so let's go man second half underway here time to put in that work defense out to start the second half as they're gonna fake it on uh gonna try to throw it short over to the left hand side going to leslie towie and they surprisingly gave him the first down don't know what they were thinking there but you know it is what it is as now holt is loose dj watson can't make the hit but billy ewing lays down the lumber eventually a huge first down for the twain green wave as they're starting to find themselves but now they face a third and long Faces that drop because he heard the footsteps of Kevin Carter. Hey, Mr. Carter, where have you been? He was there playing defense. So now, third and long. Going to try to do a halfback screen. It's well covered. And it's going to try to throw it in the dirt because it was not working for us. Or oh, not working for them, as we say. As we got, and now St. Thomas is back on this field once again. Can we extend the lead? As Lucas Coley picks up six more yards on the ground, thanks to that read option. Coley with only seven carries, man, making a difference. Already almost over the century mark already. Let's see if he gets it on this carry, though, as we'll hand it off to Coley again. He's able to get there, and he does. Coley over the century mark in just nine carries. What a day for Lucas Coley. What a day for this whole offense. As we throw a dart to Tyree Miller, but it's dropped, unfortunately. That was a great throw by, throw by Noah Brooks. You can't blame him for that. As now, third and long. They're going to go with the screen. We have it red. We're going down the sideline. One more man to beat. We get brought down across the 25-yard line. 35-yard gain on third and long. That's how you break the camel's back. As now, next play, we're going towards the end zone. Tyreek Miller with the mosque. What a catch by Miller. But we get caught by the one-yard line monster. However, Jamie Smith gets into the end zone in the next play. Touchdown, Tommies. Another score today for the St. Thomas offense. Just continuing to pour it on. We now have a free score lead. As now, we're going to try to throw over in the middle. That's dropped as well. Just nothing going well for Tulane today. You know, only seven points on the board. And over that touchdown, they have not really moved the ball well. Could be another free and out here, matter of fact. But Willie Holt was smart enough to get out of the pocket and did scramble for the first down. Tulane is nearly across first down, or not first down, across midfield. For the first time in a minute, but we are set to bring him backwards as look at what happens. Dylan Wells trips over his offensive line. You know, the only thing more disgraceful is that butt fumble. But other than that, that doesn't look good. As it's a third and long, they try to do a halfback draw, but we were ready for it, man. As Dale Garrison cleans it up. Tulane has to punt this ball away, and we're back out on the offense again. We're going to get some more points on the board as we got first and ten. Brooks dropping back on a try to throw over the middle. He finds Tyreek Miller again. Another long catch for this guy. Tyreek Miller really starting to show out in the later half of the season, man. As there's Allen picking up some more yards. Another first down. Tulane just simply doesn't know what to do, man. They are completely clueless out there on defense. And it's certainly showing. As now, first and ten. What a throw by Noah Brooks. Tighter window than what it appeared as we're very close to the end zone. Can we punch it in? Coley into the end zone. Touchdown, Tommies. Lucas Coley is in that end zone, man. Another score for this offense. The whole team playing on full cylinders right now as Holt will try to drop back the pass. That's intercepted. Kevin Carter. Can he take it back? Oh, he is brought down from behind. The dive cheese playing a role for Tulane. But what an interception by Kevin Carter. And I'll tell you what, guys, man. If we score on this drive, we're going to go ahead and sim out because we are just beating a dead horse right now. These guys clearly do not belong on the same football field as us right now. As we're here in this fourth quarter, man, this will probably be the final drive for St. Thomas. 
at least for the first string guys and then get the backups in those younger guys make sure they get that experience that is well needed as here we go first and ten brooks dropping back the pass he's actually going to scramble to the right hand side he's going to throw a quick pass to it who drags two defenders into the end zone it's a touchdown for the tommies and that's it man you know we gotta end on that play it doesn't get any better than that i'll see you guys at the end of the game man so checking out the stats after we sim out man it's it was just a beat down on Tulane man they we didn't even have like a huge scoring quarter at all in this game but it was just one of those things where we just beat them down slowly and steadily over the course of 60 minutes diving into the individual stats Noah Brooks got the start today and he was phenomenal 322 yards and four touchdowns did have that one interception but it didn't really bind us so it's all good Owen Benfield did come in in relief in the fourth quarter when things got out of hand he was one for six for nine yards Running game got quite a bit of work. My, Mike Haynes actually got a ton of work in the fourth quarter. 12 carries for 62 yards. But Lucas Coley was a superstar today. 107 yards, one touchdown. Did that off of only 10 carries as well. Jamie Smith also found the end zone as well. At receiver, we had Isaiah Thomas carry the day. He had nine catches, 87 yards, and a score. Tyreek Miller actually tied him in receiving yards as well. He's really turning into a superstar that i think will make it to the nfl one day we had a few other guys make it into the end zone as well as adrian allen alex garcia and lucas coley all got a touchdown through the air as well defensively it was a clinic for our guys dj watson actually led the team in tackles today he had six tackles two tfls and two sacks today this man was a bulldozer that clogged the middle of the line of scrimmage Dale Garrison and Antoine Black were also not too far behind him, each having five tackles themselves. And uh, Dale Garrison actually also had a sack as well, which is pretty cool. Kevin Carter had our only turnover of the day. Kevin Carter was able to return that thing back eight yards, but it wasn't the only turnover that we forced. DJ Watson actually also forced a fumble, but unfortunately, we didn't get to recover it. Still a great game for our guys, and that gets us a 10-2 on the season. So next episode, we will return home to play against the UCF Golden Knights for the American Conference Championship game. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this premiere sometime tomorrow, probably at 6 p.m. Eastern, so that I can watch the game with you guys. It should be a really good one, so guys, if you haven't done so already, Make sure you smash that like button as well as hit subscribe if you're new. This is John Jake Gaby on the mic, hoping that you all have a wonderful day. Take care, everybody.